starts with a K. Underwear cleaners. No. Kleenex. Kleenex! They call them Kleenex. Yeah, it's about that size, but it's made up of all these different little polymers with uh, foil actuators. So they basically apply a current to it, and those actuators, they automatically um, form into the shape that whoever programs oh, cool. it into. So it's got, it shows like it turning into a bow tour, into like a hat type thing. Right. Which is pretty lame, but uh, what they're actually aiming to do eventually is use that technology to start with, um, like in, when you're in the military, in, in the, out in the field, you could actually create from just this layer, like a, a new wrench or a new whatever. Oh, okay, right, or yeah. Or armor, or armor that could okay. rearrange itself. So totally it starting to understand things. that now, yeah. yeah. And then, and then the then the article goes on to explain like later on they actually want to turn it into a liquid type thing. So you can have like Terminator style liquid that transforms into what you want it to Dude, be. Dude, that's cool. That's the start of the, the nanotech and all of that. Then. Yeah. Oh. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Anyway, something to think about. So, yeah. DARPA is fucking bad. I swear it again. <laughs> I swear it again. I'm just getting excited it. about it. <laughs> DARPA is doing some awesome yeah. stuff. Like it's all military funded. Oh, military man, I would based. kill to be like a fly on the wall there. Far out. <laughs> the amount of cool stuff, they're not probably experiment on me and shoot lasers at me. Well, telepathy is one they're really pursuing. Ooh. Telepathy. Well, yeah. It was like the MRI thing you were speaking about last week. Yeah. Seven it's seconds. Yeah. Kind of cool. Telepathy. Fly was thinking about poo. Yeah, I was thinking about poo. <laughs> the fly. Yeah. What else you got? No, that's it. Yeah, Let's okay. uh, move on to a singularity topic. Cool. Okay, well, a singularity topic for this week is. Wait. Singularity! Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> how cool is that? Um, oh fuck, what were we going to talk about? The transhumanism. Transhumanism and how far we'd go and uploading the brains and all that stuff. H how um, it happened. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, I guess we'll just we'll play our, our video response this yeah. week. Yeah. Let's show how we're going to structure this because we, we've got a video response and this would be really cool if every week we got a video response. That would be So, guys, sick. if you want to send us one in on YouTube, like just send us one in. It doesn't have to be long, like a minute, two minutes, three minutes. Just uh, yeah, any, any question. comments. We'd love to post it and talk yeah. back about it. It'd be great. We, well, got, yeah. we, got, we got one in this week from this dude in Belize. Um, his name is, or his username is Smolly1. I think his name's Ollie. Um, I don't know, I, I should have asked. Um, okay, but his first question was... Do you think it's inevitable um, that we'll, we'll leave our bodies? Uh, that being flesh and blood is not going to last very long. Um, it's it's not going to be thought, as, thought of as human. Like, uh, to be human doesn't necessarily mean that you have to have a body. It just means that you you have to be a, you have to be a being. I think it is. <laughs> I right. think we both think it is. Yeah, uh, I, I, I think yeah. it's it's going to take a while, but it's not going to be like the kind of the everyone always it, mentions it, it when, as the oh you're going to have to chop off your arm and then oh. that's all like my eye story today. I mean that's a perfect thing there that you lose your eyes and you put in better eyes. Yeah, I mean that's a classic argument had with many people about trying to talk about this topic and all of that. Main discussions is that also oh, you're saying you like you'd rip out your eyes and put them in and stuff. And I I, I don't think it's going to be like that. I think it's going to be so gradual that we won't yeah. even realize. Well, so it'll be fast, like it'll be in the next you know couple of decades. Oh yeah, yeah. But it, it's going to be but, th the same way as like you know the mobile phone and all of that and stuff that it's yeah. just it becomes just a part of your life so gradually. Yeah. And yeah, well that's how I think it's going to go. But I'm I'm not sure about how far it'll be until we get to uh, like replacing your arms and all of that. Or see, it'll probably mm -hmm. be more exoskeleton stuff. I think it's going to be we're going to be very meaty for a while. Well, see, I, I don't think um the main place where all this transhumanism body stuff is happening is with people who have disabilities mm. in that particular. So I like can't that, wait to see the Special yeah. Olympics twenty years from now. Yeah. Oh, damn. But see, it's, so it's, it's people who have already lost their arms and they're just getting better arms. Man, you look at some of the cyborg arms now. Like they're they're already um, Star Wars style arms. Yeah. Like they are. You, you can cool move stuff. individual fingers. Yeah. Because they link them up to the muscle, um, and they just sense the neurons and stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah. What are you saying? You could like hold an egg with it and stuff. Yeah. You could do like hold an egg and like eleven. Do this do tying his shoelace. Yeah. <laughs> so I think what will happen is those guys will end up getting. Um, they'll work out all the different, uh, what do you call it, like the operations and all the procedures and all the technology until these guys will end up with arms that will be ridiculously high tech and advanced. Yeah. And then the rest of us will start looking at that and going, shit, that's right. I'm like, I that. Yeah. I, I think that could I think it will actually get to the point where people will be like, um, if I cut my arm off, arm off now and add one of them, I will be a hell of a lot more powerful. See, I'm, I'm not as sure about that, to tell you the truth. I think exoskeletons are going to be big. I don't think the actual, like, removing body parts is going to happen for a very, very long time. I'm talking, like, maybe 
Like, I, I'm saying our whole thing now, like, everyone growing up now, that I, I I don't think I'd want to cut off my arm no matter what. I think, and I think the majority of society would be probably be the same. That So you'd develop, say, exoskeletons and all of that, or you'd be in a, say, like a goo, like, imagine Matrix style, you know, the goo and all of that. And so then you just sit in there and you, you exist in a virtual world that we spoke about before, you take control of an, of an, uh, arbiter, an avatar or something, like, you know, yeah. avatar's a great example of it. That that would be kind of your full thing and you exist there. That, I mean, there is no real need, once we start controlling the machines fully, to actually have the machines attached to our body. Why not leave our body perfectly fine in, like, storage? And then you control a machine with your mind, like, permanently connected, all our senses permanently in that machine, but we leave our body just chilling. Yeah. Because I, I don't see the need to, I don't, I don't think anyone would ever... I mean, there would be people, of course, like, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it'll ever be mass adoption of removing limbs to do it, because okay. I think there's... Uh, anyway. How far would you guys go, like, uh, if if certain things come out uh, available commercially, will you, uh, will you upload your brain, or get robot arms, or robot body, or whatever, and just get rid of your body? Uh, how far would you go? What would we do? Like, if there was a... A, a new hand that came out that was a lot clearly a lot better than our current hand hmm. and it was commercial you could buy it for like you know say a thousand bucks or whatever and it was perfectly safe would we do it? Hmm. Uh, I, no, I don't think I'd ever <laughs> no. remove my hand. No, I think I'd, it, I, I don't see it as like I don't think I'd ever cut off my hand to be a part of that. I think that the majority of people would be different like the whole goo thing or that you so, slowly connecting. I'm probably about 80% sure I would. If it was better and all of that. Yeah. Like well, if it why was... not just say go into virtual world and control a replica of a hand that does the same thing? I'm sure that was the other thing we got to <laughs> virtual worlds. Like uh, the curse ball idea is that if you can, and a lot of other people as well, if you can intercept all the all the uh, sensors and replace them with an artificial sensor, then you can have completely 100% realistic uh, virtual reality. Yeah. Because you just replace what you're seeing right now with whatever else you want to be seeing. Yeah. And so with touch, feel, every single sense well, that's yeah. think of. Yeah. The <laughs> goo. <laughs> fun. So that would be cool. That's going to change things. That's going to be crazy. The best way to explain the whole uploading your brain thing, like, it's a really good concept because it allows you to basically um, take a record of your brain and neural activity and hopefully create a perfect replica in digital form. Mm. But when you're trying to explain that to people and you say, oh, I want to upload my brain, they think, oh, you're just going to put it onto a computer as it exists today. Mm. Like, no. no. <laughs> I would not want to upload my head onto, like, a laptop or, <laughs> or, a, or a server or something as it exists today. Like, I would want it to be incredibly advanced and decentralized and distributed. Yeah. Like, there's bits of me all over the world across various different computers. Yeah. I don't want to be on one because that's just dangerous. Yeah. If it dies... It's the whole network for your yeah. brain, really. That you, you're in many places at once. Like, there's this, this awesome comic. It's like, the singularity occurs in 2045, and those guys like, and then I pull out all the insufferable nerds. <laughs> <laughs> and I like, kill all the insufferable nerds because he unplugs his computer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, dear. That's not what it... No. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's the idea that if you're... I think, I think it was asked um, about if you had a replica of yourself online, you could talk and interact with it and stuff. Yeah, well, the, would it be the same as you? Yeah. And so I was thinking, I was thinking, first of all, even with hardcore nanotech, like, it would be very difficult to get an exact replica of you. Because mm. then we, we still under, understand what consciousness is. Like, I have a feeling it's not mystical at all. It's, it, it is in here. Mm. It, everything, oh, yeah, it's, just the it's all in there. The, the yeah. neurons and all of that, just the network, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, even if you can get a perfect copy, um you'd still have to give that, that perfect copy every single sensory input that you have. And you've ever had. Or ever, yeah. And uh, that's the, the big problem. Or otherwise you'd end up with two separate things. Unless you create the copy and then kill your physical self. Yeah. Which I, I, well, which would you do? I mean... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I would definitely wouldn't. Want to. Well, I, what I think would happen is that every time, like, say, you copied yourself, where it would probably start happening a lot of times from there, that you have all the sensory input and all of that, that it's kind of like... It's, it's a weird thing to use, but kind of like giving birth again, because then it's a different person as soon as they yeah. exist over there as well. It would be cool to watch, because then, like, you, we talk about, like, well, I always think when playing, like, a game for too long about quick saving, it's always like, oh, shit, I could, should quick save before <laughs> I go and do this. I was like, wait, I can't do that in real life. I was like, this, I could just launch myself into a million different situations and see which one works best. I was like, thank you. I'll yeah. work that way. I'm sure I'd be pissed off if I woke up. Like